Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New Yorker crossword from Monday, April 12th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across 1836 siege site. Oh man. Um. Hmm. This is an interesting time in American history. I don't know if there was a lot going on in terms of wars. Maybe it's the Alamo, actually. I think that maybe is the right time period for the Alamo. Uh, let's see if that works. Gorner Glacier setting. Gorner Glacier, man. I've never heard of that before. I can't think of anywhere cold that would fit here either. Hmm. Oof. Um, hmm. Could it be a, a lunk? Is that a word? Maybe it's a lout. I think I like that better. Yeah. Concealer target? Concealer is a kind of makeup, right? Specifically to cover up blemishes like acne. Okay. Be opportunistic? Hmm. Like make a move or something? Buds from prep school, say? Um, okay, Buds is like friends. Prep school's kind of like British, usually. So maybe this could be kind of British. Could it be like... Old chum? No, it'd have to be plural, though. Hmm. Maybe it's just old pals. And it's not necessarily British. Hmm. I don't know about pals. I, I, I'm wondering, just because it specifies prep school... I feel like it needs to be something a little more specific than pals, but yeah, let's see. Anesthesia type could be local anesthesia, yeah. Like at a dentist, maybe. Reality show with a 2020 reboot hosted by Chance the Rapper. A reality show. Hmm. I don't know if I know this one. I don't really watch reality TV. More inclined? <laughs> so this isn't more like someone having more of a tendency to do something. This is literally more inclined, like at a steeper slope, right? So it could be just steeper. Yeah. Uh, is this the Alps, maybe? Is it a glacier in the Alps? Okay. Um, okay, is this punked? Okay, the prank show? Okay, I didn't know they remade that. All right. Uh, all right, well, we were thinking it would be like make moves, right? So, hmm, well, not sure how it's gonna end. Uh, COVID blank, this, this is the uh, era we're living in right now, right? The COVID era. Hopefully it'll be over soon. I am blank. 2013 autobiography whose author won a Nobel Prize the following year. 2013. I want to say this is uh, maybe Malala. Yeah. Okay. NYC home of Edward Hopper's Night Windows. Oh, um, I guess it's the home. Maybe it's the museum that it lives in. So maybe that would be MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. Help a ruffian? Help a ruffian? Hmm. This is weird. It's gonna be a verb? Interesting. Brick brand? I guess that would be Lego bricks. Not the kind of bricks that you make a house with. Part of a gig? Hmm. Part of a gig. Oh, maybe this is, it's not like a music gig. It's like a gigabyte. So maybe that would be a meg from megabyte. That's very tricky. Subject of the physicist JJ Thompson's plum pudding model. <laughs> plum pudding. Um, I feel like maybe I've heard of this. I think it's, um, it was like a theory on how atoms worked. I think it's gonna be atom. Um, I can't remember the specifics. I think it was like maybe talking about how the electrons behaved, like whether they were like in an orbit or they were just in kind of like a a mishmash of 
placement. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is a long time ago that I took physics, but I think it's something like that. Help a ruffian. Oh, this is like help a ruffian to commit a crime. So you'd be abetting a crime, right? Okay. Knuckles under, I guess could be obeys. You're kind of submitting if you knuckle under. Um, oh, is this make hay? Yeah, this is kind of from that phrase, make hay while the sun shines. I love that aphorism. That's great. You just got to take the opportunity when it presents itself. Okay. Marked by poverty and struggle. Hmm. Hard? I wanted to start with hard, like a hard knock life or something. That doesn't quite fit. Certified leader? So a word that could go in front of certified, maybe? That would be the pun. So maybe it could be board certified? Like a doctor, I guess, could be board certified, maybe? Yeah. One standing on one's own two feet. Huh. One standing on one's own two feet. This makes me think of like kids dancing on their parents' shoes or something, but I don't... I don't think that's what it's actually going to be. Hmm. Nation with a museum in Powhuska, Oklahoma. Nation with a museum. I wonder if it's a Native American nation. Like Oneida or something? Why would that be in Oklahoma, though? Hmm. Broadway musical character who prophetically warns fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Ooh. Um. I'm not super knowledgeable about musicals. Maybe with some crossing help we'll be able to get it, though. Life Blank Highway, song covered by Rascal Flats for the Cars soundtrack. Well, I know Life is a Highway is a song. Um, yeah, that was a kind of a popular song when I was a little kid. We used to listen to that one at the uh, roller skating rink back in the day. Um, so maybe this is Aaron Burr, I guess. That would make sense, right? Because he shot Alexander Hamilton. Okay, yeah, let's put him in. Aaron Burr. And then... OS. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a Native American nation. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to say, is it like Osagi or something? I feel like I'm not quite right there yet. One standing on one's own two feet. Hmm. Let's look at this B here. Sacred text could be a Bible. Yeah. Perfectly vertical. Huh. I would want that to be like erect or something. Canadian software company that sells Paint Shop Pro. Oh, wow. This is really hard. This is like an alternative to Photoshop. This is Corel. Yeah, I haven't heard anybody talk about them in a long time though. It used to be a fairly popular alternative to Photoshop maybe like 20 years ago, but yeah, this is kind of a deep cut here. Total prize money for a tournament. That should be a purse, I think, right? It's kind of what boxers win when they win a, uh, a match also, like the purse. Angel Dust briefly is PCP. I'm not sure what that stands for, but I have heard that before. Player turned manager Piniella. I think that's Lou. That is a baseball clue. Perfectly vertical. Plum. Oh, yeah, like, um, I think there's a tool called a plum that you use. It's like a weight suspended from a string to make sure everything's vertical. So everything that would be plum would be completely perfectly vertical. Okay, nice. Now and then, I guess could be at times. Oh, and this is hard scrabble. Yeah, like a hard scrabble life. Ooh, that's a nice that's a nice little entry there. Hard scrabble, yeah. That would be a good entry if you're doing like a board game uh, theme at some point. Hard scrabble. 
insurance for canines <laughs> not the dog i guess it's the canines that you have in your mouth dental insurance vanity affairs hmm i'm not sure what the straightforward reading of this clue would be vanity affairs i think the pun might be about the um the kind of furniture piece vanity like a place where you would sit down to do your makeup but uh, what, what kind of an affair would you have at your vanity? Hmm. It's opened after a jump. Well, there's a jump ball and basketball. It's opened after a jump. Is it jump, like uh, you would jump another car's battery maybe? Like the throttle? Yeah, I don't think that's right. I was thinking this was Osagi or Osage? I'm not sure. Would this be a G? Oh yeah, I think it could be because this could be ego trips. Okay, so it's not about the vanity mirror. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I guess an ego trip would just be an affair of vanity. Yeah, I'm still not sure exactly what the straightforward reading of this would be. If you guys have any ideas about that let me know um it's open after a jump I, I think this has to be an a osage i, I want i want to pronounce it osagi but eh, i think there's an osage county somewhere that's pronounced osage yeah hopefully the goose can straighten me out on that one um one standing on one's own two feet i guess it would just be a biped <laughs> yeah okay it's like a taxonomical definition Okay. Uh, it's opened after a jump would be a parachute. Yeah, after a jump out of an airplane. Okay. Cool, could be chill. 1953 big screen vehicle for Audrey Hepburn. Okay, so on its face, I think this would be a clue about a movie that she would be in, right? A movie can sometimes be called a vehicle when it's used to like promote an actor. But I think this is going to be talking about a literal vehicle that Audrey Hepburn was driving in one of her movies. Um, yeah, she drives around a scooter in one of her movies, right? I think, is it like um, Roman Holiday, maybe? I think she's driving a scooter around. Yeah. Kakaliki, for one. Ooh, um, I've never heard of this. This is a cute term. This should be, a, this should be an entry on a grid at some point. That's great. Um, the fact that there's the word leak in here makes me think it might be kind of a soup. Like maybe it's a leak soup. I'm not sure what the first part would be about, but yeah. Casino section could be slots. Yeah, the slot machines, the one-armed bandits. She blank me. Movie title inspired by the nickname of football player Rod Smart. I think that, is that she hate me? I remember this. Uh, I remember this football player. Was this in the XFL? I think because they let the players put whatever they wanted on the back of their jerseys, I think he put He Hate Me on the back of his jersey. I remember that. That was pretty memorable. I guess they made a movie with a riff on that nickname. That's very interesting. Okay. Oxford Tie. This is tricky because uh, it's not about a like a necktie. I think an Oxford is a type of shoe, right? So maybe a tie on an Oxford shoe could be a shoelace. Very nice, yeah. Applied haphazardly as paint. Um, I would want this to be like slapped on, yeah. That'd be a very haphazard paint job if you're slapping it on. Fingers crossed could be I hope. Money-making operations, <laughs> those are mints, right? Like the mints we have in Philadelphia or Denver, yeah. Partner of Jan, that could be Hither. Hither and Jan are paired together, very old-timey. Shape with a blade, that could be Whittle, right? See uh, kind of hillbillies whittling a lot of the time in movies, just sharpening a stick. Still life vessels. 
Um, those are ewers. Yeah, we've learned that. That's been on the puzzle a few times in the past month or two. It's a old-fashioned word for a pitcher of water or wine or something else. Pulitzer and National Book Award winning author The Shipping News, who later dropped her first initial. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to include her first initial. I don't think I know this person. I've never heard of the shipping news before, but of course. An equivalent phrase here, it maybe could be, oh yes? E-O, I mean, we are thinking it is gonna be initials, so I guess weird letter combinations are kind of to be expected. Green tinted visors once worn by copy editors. Oh yeah, I guess that'd be eye shades. You see that in the old, uh, I guess like, I don't know, like 30s, 40s movies when there was the fast talking newspaper men and women. Yeah. Okay. Divinity school subject, uh, I guess would be a religion, an abbreviated religion. Worrisome air mattress sound. <laughs> this is just S's. This is a slow leak coming out of your air mattress. Physics Nobelist Bohr, that's Niels Bohr. Yeah, he was on the uh, New York Times puzzle not too long ago. Okay. Um, oh man. Ugh, this name is hard to parse here. It almost looks like it wants to be Bonnie. Um, hmm. E O N. I'm pretty sure about all of these answers though. All right, let's just try and get the end of the name and maybe we can find out where the uh, the names sort of split here. Cause of a spinach recall, perhaps E. coli? Yeah, if there's like a livestock ranch nearby, sometimes the waste can run off and contaminate the spinach fields. Flip or flop projects for short, that could be Renault's. What is ELO? Electronic Light Orchestra? Yeah, Turn to Stone Band for short. Yep, ELO. Rejuvenation Site. Hmm. I guess that could be an oasis. Like in the desert, you'd be rejuvenated if you stopped at an oasis. Uh. Oh man, this name. Iani. Uh, okay. Boy, that really brought us to a halt here. Odd. Hmm. It's not askew. Hmm. Goes out. It's not emits. Is it goes out like a light bulb would go out? Ebbs? Oh, like the tide goes out. Okay, it's ebbs. All right. Cup part. Hmm. Is it just like base or something? I guess cups have bases. Entreated. Entreated. You're like begging someone if you're entreating them. Begged does not fit though. Maybe it's bade. Yeah. Usually I hear that in terms of like you bade someone farewell. But I think it can kind of also mean like begging someone or asking someone passionately. Yeah. Growing need? I guess it could just be a seed. You need a seed to start growing a plant. Yeah, it's not a growing need as in like something that's more and more urgent. Black Beatles hip hop duo Blank Srimmerd. Hmm. I haven't heard of this before. Yeah, music. Hmm. Backtrack? Okay, I think this is another music clue. It's not uh, going back over your path that you already walked. This is gonna be a track of music on the back side of something, which would be a B side. That is a nice and tricky clue there. I like that one. Okay, so this is not bass. I'm glad I wasn't really crazy about that. Oh, this could be brim though. That's specifically on a cup, yeah. And I guess this is Ray Sremmerd. Okay, yeah, I haven't heard of them. All right. Convictions. Hmm, this could be like 
an idea you hold very dear or could be like criminal convictions. Congress speech, another wordplay clue here. Hmm. <laughs> this is so, oh my God, I just got this one. It's, this is so amazing. Congress is not just our representatives in Washington. Congress is also another word for lovemaking. So if you're talking when you're having sex, that could be called sex talk, right? That is really, really good. What a fantastic clue for that. That's amazing. Um, okay, so I think... I think I recognize this name finally. This is, I think, Annie Pro Prolu, I think, or maybe Prolix. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce her name correctly. E Annie Prolu. I guess she did end up dropping her E because I haven't heard of that before. Um, I do believe she's the writer of Brokeback Mountain, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I'm right about that. Okay. Add sound to. Um, hmm. It's not ADR, additional dialogue recording, like in a movie. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if we can get this corner filled in. Depicts unfairly as a news story. Is it skews? Yeah, it could be. Little bloodsuckers. Uh, I guess those could be fleas, like on your cat or dog. This should be beliefs. Oh, I did I spell her name wrong? Yeah, I thought I I thought it might be this. Okay, so maybe it's not L U X, it's U L X. So maybe it's Prol. Yeah, boy, what a hard name to pronounce. Annie Prol. Yeah, because I think this should be beliefs for convictions. Yeah, and then regarded as could be seemed. And then add sound to. Hmm. It's not sub. That would be adding subtitles to something. This really seems like it should be a bit off, though, for odd. Why would this be sub? Add sound to. Sub? Hmm. S-shaped molding is OG. Yeah, this is the crosswordiest of crosswordies here. Yeah, this is kind of like uh, curved molding that can go on top of a doorway. You see it in kind of like ornate doorways. Yes, this is just something you'll have to learn on crosswords. Character blank is character flaw. And own up to should be fess up to. And then what is this? Symbol on the presidential seal is an eagle. Yeah, the American eagle. All right, let's put in our eagle and see if that does it for us. Oh, some letters are incorrect. Okay, hopefully it's this, you, actually. I still think our wrong answer has to be in here somewhere because this makes no sense. So this should be dub instead of sub. Yeah, and then it's not seemed. It's deemed, like you could deem something worthwhile or deem something um, trustworthy. Yeah, okay, so that makes sense. All right, here we go. Let's see if this does it for us. There we go, nice. That was a really nice, smooth, challenging New Yorker puzzle. It was, it, it did feel very hard, but it was just, I don't know. It just felt so smooth the whole way through. That was a really great solve. I could probably help you with the crossword, but that's about it. This nerdy genie here. Featured answer, E. Annie Prol. Boy, yeah, I'm gonna have to learn how to pronounce her name properly for next time. Hopefully the, um, the goose straightened me out at some point there. All right, yeah, this was a really, really nice puzzle. I mean, that's to be expected. The New Yorker challenging puzzles have been consistently really good. Both of these long answers are really good. Yeah, Annie Prol is like, a pretty well-known author, so I think this is a really nice um, entry for her. It's very interesting they added the leading initial there as a little fact that she used to include that. 
Hard Scrabble is definitely the highlight of the grid for me. I think that's just such a nice entry. Aaron Burr is great. Um, Sh Shoelace, Slapped On, all these long answers are really good. Parachutes, Ego Trips, yeah. Very strong long answers. Not a lot of crosswordies, cruft, just a little bit of OG down here. A few smaller answers here and there, but really not too bad. Um, and even this was like a really nice clue for a shorter answer here, a nice little wordplay clue. So I'd like that a lot. Yeah, very nice challenging puzzle. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that challenging New Yorker puzzle along with me. If you're looking for something a little easier later this week, I'm gonna be doing the lightly challenging New Yorker puzzle over the weekend. So that'll be full of good, nice base level crossword solving tips. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.